video about the spark, haven't we, Hits? Yeah. And what have you learned about the spark? That it, you can ignore it and it doesn't get you there. And if you listen to it, you can get really far and like be able to do something that you've been wanting to do for a long time. For example, riding a bike. It was really good. It just felt like I was flying. <laughs> It was like really good. I was and swimming when I could swim. I was like, yes, I can swim on my own without being helped. Then I could do lots of different swimming styles. So, what is it that sometimes gets in the way of people being able to listen to their wisdom or their spark? What is it? A thought that you listen to your thoughts like your bad thoughts. But if if you hold on to that, you can new thoughts won't come through and it'll be like a block like a block and so so you you can hold on to that thought and you can do bad things or you could keep it to yourself if you're holding on to that thought and nothing could happen but if you just let go of that thought that you're having and keep it to yourself then new thoughts will come through and maybe maybe your spark will come up and and I'll tell you what to do and you'll get further. So cool, isn't it? Yeah. What do you think about the fact that, that there's always a spark there? It's good because if you didn't have a spark then you would know what to do and if I didn't have my spark with my with my bike then I just, I wouldn't be able to do it and mm. I was like giving up mm. but I didn't give up because I had that spark that was rising and it told me and I could ride a bike and so it felt cool. so good and it just felt really good <laughs> and if I wasn't there in swimming then I'll be wearing armbands and that would not be cool because so I'm six. Do you want to do more of Nicola's videos? Yeah. Should we do another one tomorrow? We've got to take Arabelle to gymnastics. Maybe when we get back. Okay. Okay.